What's up everyone? Today we have a skydiver without a parachute. He's in a suit and he's free falling at terminal velocity. It's 220 kilometers per hour, so like 60 meters per second. And this is a, a um, plane in the Z direction and he's gonna go through the guy. So his head's up here. And already it's not even close to his body and you can see it's, there's already some of the wake and it's a pretty big wake as you'd expect, it's, it's very fast. So it's hitting his hands and head now. And this is the U magnitude, by the way. You can see from the head just how big the wake is. The, the real um, intense part of the wake. This is the X plane, uh, sorry, at the X plane and it's going up through the guy. So, you can see that there's a bit of a low velocity here. This is the magnitude because it's hitting the guy, so it's getting like stagnation and velocity. One thing that's interesting is that and we often don't think about is the flow that's very close to the body is very high. So you can see that instead of it being 60 meters per second, it's almost at 90 or even higher. That's because as the flow goes around an object, uh, it, it has to accelerate because there's all this flow that is coming in and it has to go over the object and it's less surface area. So obviously the streamlines the less area for it to go through. So the streamlines all uh, diverge out a little bit to accommodate this, the rest of the flows coming underneath the body out. So that's why there's this acceleration around the body. And then it slowly gets back to stream, free stream velocity the further out you get. And that happens over the entire thing. And just here, <laughs> you get like an outline of, of the guy's body and it uh, dissipates pretty quickly. These are streamlines. I put two sets. So one's coming from underneath and it's hitting his body and then going around. And then one's on his back because I noticed that like pretty much none of the streamlines that are going around his body are actually hitting his back. So that's because humans are, are pretty bluff. So all this flow on the on his back is effectively different from the flow at his front. And these streamlines here in his face, in the face. Comment if you know where that's from. <laughs> This is a video of the magnitude going through the guy from left to right. And so we get a good appreciation of just how big the wake is. So as I was mentioning there with all this flow going around, it's underneath his body has to go somewhere. So it has to come around and accelerates. And then we're just hitting his, the main part of his body. And you see humans are not very aerodynamic. They're very draggy. Look how big that wake is. I actually calculated the drag coefficient of this guy was over one. It was like 1.05. It's really bad. So that's the aerodynamics of a skydiver. Make sure to check out the Atmosphere Hawk. It's an instrument to make all your experiments better. Every aerodynamics needs one. Check out the International Aerodynamics Conference. It's the conference we put on every year in October. And check out the courses we do to make you a better aerodynamicist. Peace out.